Uh, just one of the deadlift sessions from December. I think this was 234. It's feeling pretty good, so I moved up to 254. And then I was like, what the heck, I'm just gonna try to go for a PR here. So this was 274. And unfortunately, I got it off the ground and then realized pretty quickly that I wasn't gonna be able to get it up. So I kind of just failed on it. But then I went and grabbed the wrist straps and I was like, well, I'm gonna at least give it another shot with these. So I was able to get um, a pretty solid rep. I felt pretty good with it. With the wrist straps and i know if i keep working at it i will i will get this with without the use of those but i had done quite a bit up to that point so my grip was pretty wasted and then i just wanted to get one more of those in at 274 just to kind of feel good about it but this was probably my best deadlift session of the month of december and kind of one step closer to getting that 300 pound deadlift i'm sure i'm sure in 2018 i'll get it if i just keep you know being consistent and doing the best i can with it so just a couple other accessory um you know moves from the month that i've been really digging these a lot lately just working on overall leg strength um you can just set up like two boxes or whatever just it just gives you that like extra depth you know from instead of doing it from the ground and you can use a dumbbell you can use a kettlebell you can put a barbell on your back but um it's a really really good one to kind of like so i'll usually go like maybe a little bit lighter weight and just heavier in terms of the reps. I'll go like 15 to 20 reps or something like that. So, but yeah, lots of different ways you can vary with it. I'll use a weight plate sometimes or like a kettlebell, like I said, or a dumbbell. Um, so yeah, and I actually use that a lot as a finisher too at the end of a workout. Um, this was just a deadlift session from the month. I think it was kind of a lighter day, just going for like a little bit more reps. So I've been trying to deadlift like twice a week if I can and do like sort of like a lighter day focusing on like a six to eight rep range and then maybe a heavier day where I work up to like a couple of singles or you know reps of three at the most kind of thing so you know that's all just dependent on how my body feels from previous workouts so um working on these a lot lately too some overhead presses where I'm on the ground with my feet either like spread apart or my feet close together. Sometimes I'll sit on a bench and do this too with my feet straight out in front of me. It's just, it's awesome because you have to use your core a ton more. And um, I go a little bit lighter with this one than I would for just like a standing overhead press because it's, it's quite a bit harder when you're seated. So a lot more demanding, but I found that it's translated really, really well into um, standing overhead press for me, of course, and then bench press as well. So try to do this like once or twice a week as well. And you can do it with dumbbells too. Um, this was just me kind of playing around with a little bit of like a balance thing. I was actually trying to advertise this company, um, just be just strong. They're tights. They're super, super comfortable. I'm an ambassador for them and I really, really like the message that they send and I really, really like their workout stuff too. So yeah, just a little bit of like a one-legged burpee into like a hop up and just a different thing that you can do if you have access to like a TRX or whatever suspension equipment, you can do all sorts of balance stuff with it. Um, I think this, this was just a squat day. I think this was like maybe 175 or something. And I've actually just really kind of focused a lot on with the back squats, just working on my depth more. I mean, it's always, you know, a thing that I try to do before really moving too much in weight is to make sure I've got that depth and really focusing on even staying at the bottom for a, maybe another second or two. That one wasn't great, but you know, squats are challenging as ever for me and I'm constantly trying to make them better just like with everything so overall pretty good month of training to end the year out and I'm excited for 2018.